We're gonna hopefully we get this right. We're gonna get this, and if not, then it'll be all right. We're gonna try to do a skit semi with the young people, and then with Alex helping me on the TV up there. Amen. But I'm excited about what God is doing in our lives and what He's going to do. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And um, we are going to talk about fighting tonight. Amen. We're going to talk about fighting tonight. Last night we went to the, we saw the UFC <laughs> fights, and boy, were we, I hope we didn't scare um, Jenny away. We were going and a hopping and a puffing, and we were like, come on, get her. Come on, get him. And, and we were just all excited, but we're going to talk about uh, a fight tonight, amen? And the scripture that I want to turn to is uh, 2 Timothy 4, 7, and 8. Amen. Second Timothy 4, 7, and 8. How many of you that we're in a fight tonight, amen? amen. We're in a fight, amen? And I got three things that we're in a fight with. We're in a fight with self. We're in a fight with the devil. We're in a fight with the world. Amen. Come on now. Second um, Timothy four. Second uh, Timothy four, seven and eight. And I just want to start off. Uh, Second Timothy Father God, we just thank you for this word. Father, we ask that you would bless your word, Father God, that it would go out in demonstration and power, and it wouldn't be me, but it would be you, Father God, speaking through me. I thank you that you're an awesome God. I thank you that we're going to get it together before the end of the year, God. I thank you, God, that you have allowed us to be here tonight. And those that are here, Father, they would hear your word and not only hear, but be doers of your word. Father God, that we would hear the voice of the Holy Spirit tonight and not the voice of the enemy. Father, we thank you, Father God, that you have given us another chance to live, another chance to get it right, God. We just love you. We just thank you. We just honor you tonight. We praise you and thank you for your power, your anointing that destroys the yoke of bondage. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. How many know that we're in a fight tonight? We're in a battle. Amen. Second Timothy 4, 7, and, and, and when I want to start out with this verse uh, 7, it says, I have fought the good fight. And I don't know if you know that we're in a fight tonight. Amen. We are in a battle tonight. We're in a battle against the enemy. We're in a battle against ourselves. We're in a battle against the world. The world wants to pull us away. Amen. But we have to know that we are in a fight. And he, see here, um, uh, Timothy was saying that he has fought a good fight. Can we say that we have fought a good fight? Can I say that I have fought a good fight? Can you say that I have fought a good fight? Well, we're not there yet. We haven't, we haven't finished that round. Amen. So uh, he, he, here it says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have, I have kept the faith. Amen. And how many know that we're in a battle with the enemy and we're in the battle with ourselves? And I want to read something. It says, in the world of competitive sports, many very good and promising athletes will compete for a title or even a dream of obtaining the prize. And you know what our prize is? And you know what? What are we going? We're shooting for heaven. We're shooting that one day we're going to get to heaven. Amen. And see, so many athletic athletes have competed and even uh, dream of obtaining the price. However, relatively few will pay the price of the in intense physical training, amen, and years of preparation that must take place prior to the competition. Even of those who try, many fall out of the race somewhere along the way. And how many of you know that we ha are in a fight, we are in a race, we are in and in for the win. Amen? Amen? And it says, however relatively few will pay that price. And Pastor Vince was talking about it tonight that, you know what, we need to be faithful to our church, faithful to, to, to the kingdom of God, faithful to uh, reading our Bible and praying. Amen? And so many times we say, okay, I fought that fight. Yeah, I fought that fight, you know. But um, yeah, we, we're not where we're supposed to be. Amen? Amen? We're not reading our Bibles, we're not praying, but we're saying, yeah, we fought that fight, you know, we, we finished to the end, 
But, you know, the um, I'm going to get to my scripture in a minute, but do you have something ready for me? We're going to see this. The selfie ones are... That's fine. Okay. What can you? Uh, is it gonna show us the? Is it gonna hear hear the, the voices? I mean, is it gonna show the, the voices? Okay. Well, see, you see this guy. He's fighting in the ring with the USC fight, and he's fighting him. And sometimes that's where we are, right? But at, that's only round one. Come on now. And you got this guy in the headlock, and we think, we're going to fight, we're going to fight. And they have, the devil has us in the headlock, and, and we think that we're going to fight. And, you know, just like, uh, do you remember this one? Um, Rocky Balboa and um, Hollow Creed, they, but they were already on the last round, and they began to come, and all of a sudden they just, they were fighting the fight, and they both fell. But see, during to the end means that, you know the story. He got up and he finished that fight and he won the fight. Mm -hmm. Apollo Creed didn't win. But see, we have to understand when we fight, when we have, we, we, we're in a battle, we're in a fight. And uh, James 4, 7, 1 through 2, let's go this. Let's go there. And it says when Christians, when uh, we are a Christian and we're in a battle, we're in a fight. And see, we're in a battle with ourselves. And I'm going to take you to 1 Corinthians, uh, James 4, 1 and 2. And we're in that we're in that we're in that battle, and we need to understand that it's we're not we're not winning until it and we endure till the end. And I'll take you to that scripture pretty soon. But I want to turn to first first of all to James um, James chapter four um, verse one and two. It says, what, uh, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires, that battle within you? You want something, but do not get it. You kill and covet, but you cannot have what you want. You quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. And see, when we're, we, we need to be submitted to God. And it says, submitted, submit yourselves to God. But sometimes in our lives, we are in a battle with ourselves. We think about ourselves. We want to do for ourselves. First Corinthians chapter 13, and that's the love chapter that we're going to, that I'm taking you right now to. And this is one of my favorite scriptures, and it's 13, 4 through 6. It says, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not rude. Uh, it is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. And see, so many times in our lives that we're self-seeking, we're seeking for ourselves, we're thinking about ourselves. I wanted her to throw some pictures up there about selfie. Everybody know about selfie? Everybody's taking pictures and they call themselves, it's a selfie picture and they're posing for themselves. And they're posing like this and, huh? Nobody in here knows things like that. Oh, not nobody in here in the church, right? Selfie, you take pictures of yourself. You take pictures in the morning when you wake up. Eve, Buzz's girlfriend, right? And then you take pictures when you put your makeup on and you're like, oh, I look good today. And then you take pictures of, you know, just of self. And see, so many times we're into ourselves and we are in a battle and we are in a fight. And the devil wants, uh, uh, this, our self wants to take over. We want to do what we want to do. Nobody's going to tell us what to do. We're in a battle, but we can't let ourselves, the Bible says to, to, uh, to come down to, to, for ourselves to be denied. Take up our cross and follow Jesus. Deny yourself. Deny yourself, the Bible always says. It always quotes, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Jesus. That means that you need to do away with yourself. And see, so many times in our life, we're in a battle, and we're self-seeking, and we're thinking about only ourselves. But also, the Bible says is that don't think about your own affairs, but think about the affairs of others, which is your brother and your sister beside you. And see, we're in that battle, we're in that fight. And we can't say, I have fought a good fight, because have we? No. I have fought a good fight. Have we fought that fight? We, uh, uh, we haven't fought that fight until, the Bible says, I'm going to read it to you because I keep going to it. And it says, um, Matthew 24, 12. Let me take you there real fast because that, that's one of my main scriptures too. And I love that. Uh, I love that scripture. Um,
Hopefully you guys got your Bibles and you can highlight them or do what you need to do. Um, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. Because of the increase of wickedness, how many know that? There's more wickedness on the earth today than ever. They're thinking about themselves. The, the, the love of most will, go co will grow cold. Is that me and is that you tonight? Come on now. It says, but verse 13, but he who stands firm till the end, he who stands firm till the end will be saved. Amen. I have fought a good fight, but they, when, 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 when God needs you, where are you at? Well, I was thinking about myself. I didn't feel like going, so I'm just going to stay home. And, I, and, and I'm thinking about myself, and nobody needs me, and I don't care about anybody else. I just care about me, and that's it. That, uh, are, you doing, are you enduring to the end? I don't think so. Because of the increase of wickedness. How many know that there's wickedness going around? Amen? Amen. All over the world, all over everything. There's so much wickedness. The increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. And I hope that's not you. Amen. And I hope that's not you, me. Because I'm telling you today that Jesus is coming back soon. And I'm telling you today, and I hope I encourage you today, that 2014 ain't going to get any better. And that's good news because... If the world is going to get worse, then the body of Christ is going to get stronger. Amen. Amen. If the world is going to get uh, worse, the body of Christ should be stronger. Amen. Because we are in a battle. We are fighting for our salvation. And if you understand, it says, those who stand firm and stand to the end will be saved. And this is the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then, and then the end will come. And that's in red letters. And that's Jesus talking. That's not me talking, but that's Jesus talking. So we're thinking about ourselves. We're going. And see, and you have to understand, when an athlete, how many of you know we have athletes in here? Do we have runners in here? Do we have... UFC fighters. See, I'm trying to get my young people to see, not only today, I'm trying to get them to see the future. I'm trying to get them to say, hey, have a set of goal in your life. Do something in your life. Be a, uh, go, go down there on 4th Street and get yourself training. Go be an MMA fighter. Go do something. See, I'm trying to get these young people to, to, to look not only today, smoking pot and drinking and doing drugs. I want them to do something better with their lives. Yeah. Amen. And see, I have to tell you that, you know, that we, we, we can't think about ourselves, but we got to think about, um, uh, we got to think about God's kingdom. And see, the devil wants us to think about ourselves. And we got to understand that we can't think about ourselves. We are in a battle. We are in a fight with self. And you know how many times you have to get up off that bed, Sister Lucy, and you got to tell yourself, you are going to pray. Amen. You got to get up off your, off your, uh, Took and you got to get up from there and you got to wake up and you say, you are going to read your Bible. Because how many know the flesh don't want to read the Bible? Your flesh don't want to pray. And how many know that uh, the, a lot of athletes, they have to train and they have to train for years and years and years and years. They, they don't just say, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to take the devil. I'm ready. Come on, uh, Nico. Come on, Diego. Okay. Stay on this side. You go on this side, the devil on this side. How this side? How many of you know that when you're an athlete, you can't say, "Well, I'm saved and 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 I want to." Well, one time, Pastor Vince preached, and I had boxing gloves when my son took them, and we had uh, Diego this way. I'll tell you when. I had I had good boxing gloves, and I went to send the kids to go get them, and my son took them. They were his, but he took them, and I needed them. But we, uh, uh, of course, Amber, she's so. Um, Creative, she made them for me. Amen. But an athlete, keto say, I'm going to run a, a marathon. How, how, how long is a marathon? Somebody tell me. Yeah. Uh, 26.2. 26.2 huh? 26 miles. 26.2 miles. And you get up from the bed and you drink soda all night and you <laughs> ate a loaf of jug burrito. They're so good, but they give you heartburn in the middle of the night. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, and then you wake up one morning, you wake up the next morning, I'm gonna run a marathon! And you start, run. you get ready, you put your shoes on, right? And you put your sweats, and you, you look the part, you look the part, you have your 
shoes and you have your shorts and you have your number here and, and you're ready. No, how many know that it takes a long time? Yeah. And see, when you need to read your Bible and you need to pray and you need to seek the faith, well, I'm saved, now I'm a preacher, and, you know, once saved, always saved, and, and come on now. Try how many know that you have to prepare? You have to read. I want to be a preacher, but you never read the word. Come on. Come on now, read the right. word. You want to be a preacher, you got to read your word. And not only read it like a book, you got to study it. you got to search it. you got to, you got to, you got to uh, read it in different translations. And you got to see, well, what is, what is the, the prophet Haggai say? What is the, the, you know, Jeremiah have to say? And let me give you a definition before we start. Endurance, the fact or power of enduring. An unpleasant, come on, how many know? Like Pastor Vince said this morning, Christianity is hard. An unpleasant, you don't want to go to church when, you're, when you don't feel like it. You want to do, well, lay on the couch and you want to watch church at home in your jammies. Come on now. An unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving way. That's what endurance means. The fact or power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving up. So here is Nico. He is a Christian. Here is our lovely enemy, the devil. And, and Nico has just got saved, and he's all excited, right? Come on. Be excited, Nico. And the, and the devil throws... No, you're going to be nice now, devil. This is, for, this is just an illustrated sermon, right? And the devil tells... And the devil... Uh, and Nico's going, and he's, he's a Christian, and he's fighting that battle with the enemy, and the devil just throws him a left hook and tells him, you know, he ain't going to get it, and, and Nico falls. <laughs> Nico falls. Okay, stand back. And that's the way we are. We we fought the good fight of faith, right? Come on, let's let's do it. Let's do it out for a little bit. Come on, just a little bit. Come on, come on, Christian. Come on. Come on, and the, this is you and the devil. Or this is you and yourself. Okay, devil. Easy, 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 devil. We don't want to have a real fight after church, right? <laughs> so the devil hits the hits the Christian one more time. Come on. And he's all excited. He's pumped up. He's he's Jesus for life. And the devil hits him and he's down. Come on. And he's down. Stand over here in the corner, devil. And he's down. And he stays down. And that's, who, that's how we are. Right? Come on now. Yep. We're all ready for Jesus. Let's take this city for Jesus. Right? And then the devil comes and he tries to destroy us or he tries to put situations or problems in our life. And then we're down, down. And, we, and, we're try, we're, and he won't get up. <laughs> it's not worth it. Come on now. Has some of you guys said that? It's not worth it. Where's God now? I thought God was real. Where's he at? If God was real, why do you have that big old problem? Is that, yeah. that what they tell us now? Like? If you're a Christian, why are you going through hard times? Shouldn't you have all the money in the world? Well, give me all the money and I won't be, I won't be without no money, right? Come on now. Right? People want to talk smack, right? Right? You're, you're, we're in a battle with the devil. Um, Ephesians 6, 11, and 12. Let's go there. This is where our scripture is. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, it says, Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the, scheme, the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not flesh and blood, but against prince, rulers, against authorities, against powers of this dark world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. See, we're not fighting. Now, now we're, we're now fight, fighting. Get up from there, uh, Christian. I need you to get up. You can do it. I believe in you. Di Diego, the devil, I mean, the devil, stand back. Rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Stand back. We're fighting against the devil. Go ahead. We're fighting against the enemy. 
We're not fighting against our son. We're not fighting against the, our, 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 our kids. Well, see, we're scared of the enemy. Don't you know you got power over the devil? Don't you know that you got power over the enemy? Well, he hits us. He throws us. He throws us for a low blow. A low blow. Diego, a low blow. A low blow. Okay, he's down. A low blow and you're down. Oh my gosh. Do not mess up the keyboard and all that. And I don't know what that low blow was falling and all that. But we're like that, right? We're scared of the devil, right? Tell me that you're not scared of the devil. He says, God is not true. The devil yeah. here says that, right? Yeah. God says, you're not going to win. The, the devil says, you're not going to win that battle. I am going to win it. And you're going down. Come on. And that's where we're at. We're down. on. But we fought the good fight of faith. We fought it till the end. No, the Bible says we're not saved till the end. Till ding, ding, till that last round goes. Yeah. And see, that, that the, 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 we have to understand that, that, that um, Rocky Balboa, they both went down. How many of you know? I mean, that's such an awesome... <laughs> Awesome, awesome story. And I mean, we're fighting and we're fighting and it seems like we're not getting anywhere and the devil's beating us up bad. But you know what? We keep on going and we keep on going and we keep on going. Come on now. Because the devil's a liar and he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But our God came to give us life and life more abundantly, right? Amen. See, the devil has boxing gloves too, but uh, we have boxing gloves too. And we don't fight against flesh and blood like I was saying. We don't fight against our teenage kids. We don't fight against our husbands that are not saved. We don't fight against our neighbors, but we fight against the enemy, amen? See, but we, we're, in a, we're in a battle, and we're in a battle with ourselves, and we're in the battle with the devil. And, and, and the Bible does say in Ephesians 11, 12, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2, let's go there. And see, the reason why he goes down and he's not up and he hasn't won the battle is because he hasn't been reading and he hasn't been praying and he hasn't been seeking the face of God. He hasn't got into God's presence. He hasn't, um, uh, he hasn't endured. He got hit with a low blow. I don't know what your low blow is that you got hit with. But the Bible says that we, will, we have to endure to the end. And the Bible also says that um, that uh, though we go through trials and tribulations, be of good cheer because Jesus Christ is with us. Amen? And uh, the Bible also says that God will never leave us nor forsake us. What, what other pictures did you have? You see that? That sometimes we look like that. You see that? We look like that. Is she going to endure to the end? Is she? Or we're going to be just knocked out like Rhonda Rousey knocked Nisha Tate out. She tapped her out. Go to the next one. Right there. The Russian guy. You're, you're, he, he, with this fight, go back to that fight. With this fight, uh, his mind messed up, his brain messed up. And sometimes the enemy, when we're in that battle, our minds are messed up. That's why we have to read the word, because the word washes our minds. The, 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 uh, and the Russian with the Rocky Balboa, his mind was messed up. They said that he would never be able to fight again. So he, could, he, had, to, he had to quit. He couldn't do it anymore. But sometimes we get bl blowed so bad by the enemy, but we need to take a stand. We need to be, we need to be that... That, uh, that man and woman like Pastor Vince was talking about tonight. What is another one that we need to take a stand and we need to do, huh? A fight or the rest of them are training. Oh, okay, training. Oh, look, right there. He's training. He had fear, right? That's when he had fear. He thought he, he lost the fight uh, and he had fear and... His partner was trying to help him, and he's training. How many of you know when you train, or maybe that was the Russian one. Yeah. How many of you know that when when you train, it's hard. You yeah. everybody's gonna do it. I know everybody in the world is gonna. Uh, um, January first, two thousand fourteen. Everybody's gonna want to lose weight. 
Everybody's going to give up soda. Everybody's going to give up Taco Bell. Everybody's going to give up those fried hamburgers, right? Right? And then we go on and we're in a race. We're going to lose weight. We're at one buck 50 and we're going to go to buck 25. And we're on that treadmill, right? And we're on that treadmill and we're treading. Are you on a treadmill? No, I don't have a treadmill. Oh, sorry. We okay, running. Where's running? We're on that treadmill and we're running. And about the second day, second day, you can't. You get up in the morning and you can't even walk because you're so sore. So by the third day, you're back to eating Taco Bell, back to eating fried food, back to eating China Moon or whatever you eat, right? So we have to understand that. Um, if we go back to that scripture, uh, let's go to Hebrews 12, 1 and 3. And, I, and these scriptures are awesome, so you need to highlight them. Um, so that's why Nico's down on the floor, because he hasn't um, put the word in his life. Um, he needs Jesus to help him. He needs to get rid of himself. He's, not, he's thinking about himself. He's, he's, he, we have a battle with the devil. Um, Hebrews 12, 1, and 1, 12, 1 through 3. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us therefore throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Amen. For who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat at the right hand of the throne of God. They're talking about Jesus right there in the ladder. But let me go back to uh, verse uh, 1, the ladder of 1. Let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that easily entangles us. Let us run with perseverance. Amen? We're going to run till it is completely done. We're not going to be Christians in 2013, and then when 2014 comes, times get hard. We're laying flat on our back. Can you get up, please? We're laying flat on our back, and we want to quit and give up because at that time, times are, I don't know what 2014 is going to hold. I have no idea. I don't know if we'll be here. I don't know if Jesus is coming back for us in 2014. I don't know if the mark of the beast is going to come. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to bury our family members. Or I don't know if our family members are going to get saved in 2014. I don't know if we're going to have losses in our lives. But I do know who's the author and the finisher of our faith. And his name is Jesus Christ. And he endured to the end. He endured the cross. And if he can do it, baby, so can you. And so can I. Amen. We endure till the end. And when the hubcaps fall off, put rims, baby. Amen. And we are going to do it. And we're going to do it till the end. Because why? Because in any situation that we are in as Christians, we can do it. Because Jesus Christ endured it. It said the author, the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross. How many know that cross wasn't a light cross, right? Yes. It, how many know that cross wasn't a, a pretty cross, but it was a hard cross? How many know that Jesus' death wasn't a pretty death, but it was a hard death? Amen. And he didn't even sin, but yet he died on that cross for you, and yet he died on that cross for me. He endured to the end. Endurance. The fact or power of enduring. An unpleasant. How many know that Jesus had an unpleasant death? Come on now. How many know that Jesus had an 
unpleasant or difficult process. How many know that he had a difficult process in his life? He only lived 33 years of his life, and the th and the he only had his ministry for three years. And the latter of his third year, how many know that he endured and he suffered a lot, or any situation without giving way? Jesus never gave up. He never quit. He knew what he was enduring. And when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, "If if it if it if this if, uh, um." If it's not my will, but your will be done, God. Not my will. That was a selfless prayer. Amen. He wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about others. He was thinking about you. He was thinking about my grandbabies. He was thinking about my my uh, my uh, sons and my daughters. He was thinking about your son, your daughters. He wasn't he wasn't selfish and said, I ain't doing this for them. They I you already know how mankind was. I already know how they they are. They don't. They, they're selfish. They think about themselves. They they do what they want and when they want. Come on, ha, is there anybody in the house tonight that knows somebody like that? I mean, don't point to them at the church, amen. But somebody that's selfish. I mean, you're over there and you're over there working hard and they're seeing you work hard and they're up and they have their feet up on the stove and they're eating some popcorn or bonbons or ho hos and you're working hard and they're just thinking about themselves. How many know that you get mad at that point? Uh, somebody in the back row is going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. I won't even go to that household. Huh? I'm just teasing. But how many know that? That, 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 that Jesus endured to the end and in, in, in difficult and unpleasant times that we are going to have. And see, I'm standing here today not because I have, I have all my life together or not because since I was 18, it's all been uphill and it's been marvelous and it's been pleasant. I'm here because of the hard times. I'm here because, where's the devil at? Come here. Uh, Nico, can you be, uh, come on, come in. I'm here because the devil, just stand right here, devil, Nico. I'm here because of the devil, because the devil beat me up. He threw a low blow. Go ahead. And I fell flat on my face, and when I fell flat, flat right there on the, my back, I had to look up and say, what in the world just happened? What in the world just happened to me? In my situations, in my life. And the reason why I'm here is because of those hard times. It's because of those difficult times. It's because of those unpleasant times. And when I was flat on my back, and I was saying, what just happened, Lord? What in the world just happened? Right then and there, I could have said, this ain't worth it. This ain't worth it. Forget it. I quit. I give up. I, I'm walking out of here. He didn't say, I didn't say that. I said, God, I said, come on, come here. I said, come here, devil. That was a low blow that you threw. But guess what? I don't care what you throw my way, Satan. I don't care what you do. Give it all to me, devil. I am going to serve Jesus. That's what I said in my trials and my problems. That's what I said. So when the devil comes to me, when the devil came to me and gave me another blow, I said, you know what? Give it all, devil. Come on, give it all. You know why, devil? I don't care what you throw my way. I'm serving Jesus till the end. Come on now. That's what you have to tell the devil, Nally. That's what you have to tell the devil, Lori. That's what you have to tell the devil, Lucy. I don't care what you do, devil. I'm ready to fight, and I'm going to fight till the end. And I don't care what little blow you give me. It's going to be all right because Jesus is on my side. He's scared of me now. The devil's scared of me now. You know why he's scared of me? Because it is the Jesus defeated the enemy because of the word. Jesus quoted the scripture. Amen. It is written. And I tell the devil, you're a liar, devil. You come to kill, steal, and destroy. But my God, can you give me life and life more abundantly? And I might not have it all right now, but I will. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Greater is he, come here, devil. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Come on now. That's what you have to tell the devil.
devil. You got to fight that fight. You got to finish that race. You got to read your word. Just like that, that, that runner needs to run every day if he's going to do the marathon. He's going to run and run and run and run. He's not going to quit and give up like we do. Our witness, our fitness, our losing our weight, right? Or reading our word, but the devil, you gotta tell that devil, you're a liar. You come to kill, steal, and destroy. But my God came to give me life and life more abundantly. Amen. 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 No weapon formed against me shall prosper, devil. You gotta Amen. tell him that. Amen. You gotta tell him the word. You gotta look at the devil. And you can't have your gloves off. You can't have your word off. You have to look at the devil toe to toe, and you'll be fighting him toe to toe. And guess who's right there with you? Jesus Christ. Amen. He fought the fight. Amen. He fought that fight. Amen. He won. He fought the battle. He endured to the end. I want to endure to the end. Do you? Amen. That's my goal. What's your goal? To endure to the end. Amen. Your goal, the prize that's set before you, Jesus Christ, heaven. And you want to finish that, that goal. You want to finish that race until the end. Amen. And you want to do that. Mark 10, 22. Let's go there. Don't go nowhere, Satan. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Matthew 10, 22. I was like, what in the world? Got the wrong scripture. All men will hate you because of me. And see, this is Jesus. But he who stands firm, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Amen. 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 Is all people going to like you? No. Nope. Nope. Is all people going to hate you? Yeah. Yep. Especially your family. They're going to think you got off your rocker. You want to go to church? How many times do you go to church? You're going to go to prayer? How many times do you need to pray to the Lord? You know why you need to go to church? You know why? Come here. You know why you need to go? Because he never quits. He never gives up. If he doesn't mess with your teenage boy, he'll mess with your husband. If he doesn't mess with your husband, he'll mess with your car. Yeah. Come on now. And if he doesn't mess with your car, he doesn't mess with your husband, and your kid, he'll mess with your foot. Yeah. Hop on one foot to church. Come on now. We hopped on one foot, Pastor Wright, to go to the bars, to go clubbing, and we even clubbed on one, one foot. Come on now. Come on, I know some of you all. Testimonies. Your stories. Come on. We were testimony one time. They went to the, they went to the crack to the dealer's house. And they couldn't go and drive. All they could go was in reverse. So they went to the, to the, seriously, they went to the drug house in reverse on the highway. So if they could do it, we could do it. And the devil doesn't stop. He's always there. But greater is he that is in me who's inside of me. Yeah. Self? Who's sitting on the throne of your heart? Yourself? Yeah. Is the devil sitting yeah. on the throne of your heart? Or is Jesus Christ sitting on the throne of your heart? Yeah. Who's sitting on the throne of your heart? Because if you got Jesus on the throne of your heart, then you can take this enemy. Yeah. He's scary. He acts like he puts fear. You have a sight like, oh, oh, I think I got cancer. <laughs> Tell me. He's, he's, come here. He's lying. He's telling me in my ear. I got a sight. I got cancer. Yeah. Oh, I got cancer. Yeah. Who told you that? The devil. The devil? Yeah. What are you listening to that devil for? Yeah, right. Come on, he puts fear in your life. You can't, yeah. can't you can't sleep at night? You need to get Jesus in your heart. Once you get Jesus in your heart, take, throw that, throw that devil music and throw the devil videos out. Throw them out of your room and get Jesus in your heart. And you tell the devil, you pack your bags, devil, and you leave. See, but the devil never quits and never gives up. Why? Because he's going to try to get whoever he can get to go with him to hell. He's going to try until, till the day that Jesus Christ comes. He's going to try to get 
whoever he can, Sister Lucy. It doesn't matter if they're eight or nine year old. They're already partying at eight or nine. Yes. They're already doing stuff that eight or nine year old kids are going out. They're doing stuff that they shouldn't even be doing. Yeah. Stealing. They're do, they're doing stuff malas that that you know we it would make us blush. Come on now. Yeah. But the devil never quits, and we should never quit. Yeah. We have to endure till the end. We are Christians, and we need to stand firm, and we need to be in difficult times and unpleasant times. We never give way because we stand. And that's what it says right here in uh, Matthew 10, 22. Like I read, all men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm. And see, we don't want to be hated. We want to be liked, right, Pastor Vince? We want to be the like club. Come on now. We don't want to be the pe per people that have to stand by themselves. And when you have to stand like Pastor Vincent in the morning, you have to stand by yourself. You can't stand yeah. with your mother, your brother. You yeah. can't stand with your wife or your husband. When you stand and you meet Jesus Christ for the very first time, it's you and Jesus all the way, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say, well, my mom was saved, so I'm saved. No, you got to stand. Yeah. And see, we don't want, sometimes we don't understand that. Sometimes we think, oh, well, we, we, don't, we, we don't have to. We don't have to uh, fight the, the good fight of faith. We don't, have to, uh, we don't have to endure till the end. Well, that's what the Bible says. But he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Amen. And we are going to be persecuted for Jesus Christ. We are going to be persecuted for loving Jesus. We are going to be the Jesus fanatics, the holy rollers. That's what they call Amen. us. We are going to be the ones that they call, they say that we're, um, what is that? That we are, um, I can't remember, Bible thumpers. Um, the, another one was that um, we are controlling uh, people. You need to read your Bible. You need to pray. You need to come to church. Jesus tells you that. If you read the word of God, he will tell you not to forsake the gathering, the, the brethren that come together. He will tell you that. Amen. And see, we have to understand that we have to endure to the end. And men will per, per, uh, persecute us. Uh, people will hate us because of Jesus Christ. Because we want to be. How many want to be sold out for Jesus? Because I do. When we're sold, we were sold out for the world, we would do anything for the devil. The devil was a right hand man. The devil would tell me to do something, or the devil would tell you to do something, and, and we're going together all the way, even if it's to the county jail. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to the bar. We are going to go get high. I mean, we did it all the way with Satan, right? Yeah. But we, when we got saved, we need to do it all the way for Jesus. Amen? We're not haphazard, not halfway, but all the way with Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the one that went all the way for you and me. Yeah. And see, sometimes I think that we don't understand that. Jesus endured to the end. He endured to the cross, but he did. And we don't. We take that lightly, and we need not to, amen? We need not to. Uh, the scripture that I have for us tonight, The what else do I have up there? Oh, the scripture that I have is um, 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Let's go there. And we need to be people that will pay that price. We need to read our Bibles. We need to pray. We need to seek the face of God. We need to get in fellowship with the other believers. If we want to win that race, if we want to fight the fight, if we want to endure to the end, we need to have that training. Like Just like the trainer did physically, he would... He would eat well. How many know that you, um, I heard in boxing you can't drink soda, right? <laughs> you can't drink soda, so you got to give up soda. You have to, uh, you have to exercise every day. You have to run every day. You say I'm gonna be a runner and I'm gonna win the marathon, but you never run. You sit and watch TV all day. How many know that you're not gonna do nothing for God? And if you want to be, if you want to be somebody, and you want to do something in the kingdom of God, you got to seek the face of God. You got to read your Bible. You got to fall in love with Jesus. 
You gotta say, Jesus is the lover of my soul. You gotta say, Jesus, it's all of you and none of me. None of the devil no more, none of myself. It's all for you in 2014, amen? That's what we gotta say. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 9.24, did I say 2 Corinthians? No. I just get excited because the God is so good and he's so amazing. Do you know do you not know that in a race all the runners run? Amen. But only one gets the prize. How many know? Amen. Run in such a way as to get the prize. And see, I think so many times in our lives that we run and we run and I've been saved for 10 years and I've been saved for 5 years and and Jesus hasn't showed up yet and and we run and run and run and we never see we never see a result you think and I think but Jesus is working because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God amen and it says and uh, do you not know that in a race all the runners run but only one gets the prize run in such a way as to get the prize everyone who com com completes in competes in a game goes into strict training they do not get a crown that will not last but we do it to get a crown that will last forever yeah. come on now yeah. therefore I do not run like a man running aiming aim, aim, aimlessly I do not fight like a man beating the air come on how many of you know what we sometimes we fight and we beat the air yeah. come on now so Nico needs to train. Nico, Nico needs to run every day. Nico needs to run every day. Don't run like Nico. <laughs> Verse 27 says, No, I beat my body and make it my slave. Come on now. So that after I have preached to others, I myself will be will be disqualified for the prize. How many know that you need to tie yourself, like I said, you need to tie yourself. You need to tie yourself. You know what? You line up with the word of God and you are going to church. You are going to seek the face of God. You are going to pray. Come on, because we need men and women to stand up for what's right. There's a lost world out there. There's children next to you. You need to run for them. You need to win the, uh, the fight. You need to win the race because there's children that depend on each and every one of us here sitting here alone next to you. I see all these kids and if you stop running and you stop uh, fighting that fight of faith, then what chance do they have? What chance do the people that are in county jail have if we stop win, uh, fighting that fight and we're running that race? What chance do the people that are hooked on heroin, hooked on on uh, prescription pills what chance do they have if we quit come on now what chance what example do they have when they say oh well they they're not gonna uh, you're still serving Jesus yes I'm still serving Jesus baby and I'm gonna serve Jesus till the day I die God is my help and I'm not boasting but God is with me and he's on my side and we're going see we're all running we're all we're all we're in a battle we're running, me and Nico. I mean, we're I mean, we're going side by side. Man. And the devil comes and knocks him out. Come here, devil, knock him out for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the devil hits me. And the devil hits me. The devil hits me. <laughs> And I'm still, I, I, and I see him and I'm still running. He quit. He can't do it. The devil has him. So what am I going to do? I'm going to still run. I'm going to go forward. Amen. I'm going to go. Amen. Amen. Why? Because Nico said, I can't do it no more. It's too hard. That's what he said. That's what we say. Oh, it's too hard. I can't do it. The devil's on my back. Well, get him off your back then. If the devil's on your back, get him off your back. Open that door and rebuke him and tell him to leave. And if he tries to come back in again, you tell him to go again. And if he tries to come back, you tell him to go again. 
And you quote the scripture and you quote the scripture. And you quote the scripture and you do what God has called you to do. Amen. Amen. Because we're in a battle. We're in a fight. We're in that fight until the end. And we have to win that battle. We have to win, Sister Nally. Why? Because there's people that are depending on us. There's people that need our prayers. There's people that need each and every one of us. Yeah. Our testimony. Our, 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 but, but difficult times are going to come. Endure. Difficult, uh, unpleasant and difficult process or situation without giving way. I don't want to give way. I don't want to give up. I don't want to give the devil a uh, foothold. I don't want to give the devil a crack in my life. I don't want to give him anything. I want to give it all to glory to God. I want to fight that fight. And when the devil comes after me, I'm going to be ready, right? Okay. Because when you get in the ring at UFC, you better have practice, baby. Right. Yeah. And that one guy said it last night. He said, I trained, and I trained, and I trained, and I said, I will not be beat. I'm going to, I train like I've never trained before, he said. Last night he said this, yeah. and guess what? He won! Yeah. Because he trained, and he wanted it, and you, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want the kingdom of God? How bad do you want your pet? family saved. How bad do you yes. want your right. city saved? Right. You're going to get on your knees and you're going to fight that fight. Yeah. And you're going to win the battle because Come the on. devil is not going to give up. But my God is greater than the enemy. Yeah. And the devil is a liar. He comes to kill. Still yeah. and destroy. Do you know how many lies that he's destroyed? Do you know how many lies that he's tried to kill? He's killed pre, pre, uh, whatever you call it. Premature. Yeah. Prematurely, they should be here sitting in our ministry today. But they they stopped the fight. They stopped it. They said, it's too hard. I can't do it no more. I quit. I can't go on. Are you going to be that man or that woman or that young person that we are going to have to bury or that you're, we're going to have to go visit you in the county jail? Come on now. Or that we're going to have to go uh, try knocking on your door and you're going to... Shh. The pastors are at the door. Don't yeah. say a word. Shh. <laughs> See if they laugh. Right? And we'll go hunting for you too. I've been called that. Uh, what is it? What did I say? What did I say? I'm persistent. Bounty hunter. Right? So we gotta get that. We gotta get that. That fighting. That. And we got to win to the end. I mean, we, we're saved now, but are you going to be saved in 2014 when the enemy comes and, and he throws you for a loop or he throws you for a low blow? Are you going to be, are you going to still be here standing? Or are you going to quit and give up like everybody else does? We're not everybody else. You're who you are and God made you in his image and his likeness. That's who you are. Amen. And God wants to save you and God wants to set you free. God can, can do anything. God wants to bless your houses. God wants to bless your finances. God wants to, 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 to give you everything that your hearts desire. But delight in me. Amen. Delight first in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Fight that fight. Amen. When you're in the ring with the enemy, don't give up. When you say, I can't do it no more. I am too tired. I can't. I got a side ache. I cannot do it. And Jesus says, yes, you can. You look in that mirror and you say, yes, you can, Susan Diaz. And you will. And you're not going to give up or quit. And see, the enemy likes to mess with my kids. And that's what he uses. He uses my kids to to try to destroy me, to try to bring me down. And that's when I tell you that I was laid flat on my face. I'm in my back. Go ahead, Nico, you're done. I laid flat on my back. Come here, devil. I left, I, go ahead, Nico, you're done. Go to the back over there. Nico, st uh, devil, devil, stand right here. Um, yeah, you can. I, I lay flat on my back and the devil, he knows what to use. Come on now. He's smart. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. He knows what to use. He said, I'll use this. Yeah. And watch to see how she's sweating up a storm. And she's worried. And she's this. And she has fear and all that. That's what the devil will use. But you don't let the devil use that. You right. tell him, no, devil, you're not. You're not yeah. going to have your way. You're not. I already know your tricks. Yeah. See, the devil doesn't have new tricks. It's yeah. old tricks. Yeah. It's old ones all the time. Your finances get low. Yeah. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I still got my hands and my feet! Yeah. Yeah. I still got breath! 
Come on. I still got life. Amen. Your house gets taken. Praise the Lord. I still got my children and they're healthy and normal. Yes. Yes. Healthy as a horse. Yeah. Right? <laughs> the devil tries to take your car, mess with your car. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I still got my legs. I'm walking to church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Or I'm taking the bus. Oh, the bus don't run on Sunday. Walk to church. Ask for a ride. Run to church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You're 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 in for it. You're in that fight. You're in that fight. That that uh, what is it? That Christian fight. That fight that that's gonna win that prize. And that prize is Jesus Christ. Those who endure till the end. Oh, I'm saved. I've been saved for about twenty years. I'm hmm, yeah. What are you doing for the Lord? Oh, nothing. I'm saved. I'm sitting in the front pew. I'm not. What are you doing for the Lord? Oh, nothing. Oh, I'm saved. I'm set free. What are you doing for the Lord? Nothing. Come on now. We need to do something for God. You're in a battle. We need to fight for these young people. These kids are without their fathers. Don't we understand that? I can't comprehend that in my mind. These children are without fathers. We need to be their fathers to them, to these kids. We need men to grow up and to be the man of God they called them to be and to stand firm and to stand on the rock of Jesus Christ and, and lead by example. Amen. These boys need fathers. We need royal rangers. We need somebody to look up to them. The, these little boys to look up to a father figure. Where are you at? Amen. 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 But we go back to the scripture that says we're fighting against our flesh, our self, and self always wins, or the devil always wins, or, or the world always wins. How many know the world wants to suck you up? The world wants to take you, everything, your time, your everything that you have, you want, it just wants to take you. But we can't let our time, we can't let our jobs, we can't let nobody get in the way but Jesus. Amen. Because the prize is right here. And see, people are going to, the devil's going to come at me, and people are going to come at me, but my eyes are fixed on that prize, and his name Amen. is Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, ha uh -huh. Go ahead. If you want to go party, go ahead. Right ahead. Go ahead. If you want to go to the clubs, go ahead. Go ahead. If you want to you want to stay home from church, but I'm going, and you're still looking at Jesus. Amen. Go ahead. If you want to. If you want to think about yourself, go ahead, because I'm going to the prize, and his name is Jesus. I'm going. And when and when and God wants faithful people. God wants people that are he can trust and he can rely on. Amen. And because we're looking at that prize. And then when Pastor calls on you, you're here and he can use you. He doesn't have to go 14 blocks and try to find you. Come on. Now. But he could he could he wants to use you. He wants to use you in a mighty way. But we have to, our, 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 our eyes have to be fixed on that prize. We have to be saved till the, endure till the end. And you can, I'm telling you, you can. You can be saved till the end. You can. You can be saved till the end. I believe it. I know it. I know God's word is true. And we can, we can fight that good fight of faith. Let me, I'm going to go to that last scripture. The last scripture that I, I read, the first one. And we'll be done tonight. Amen? Amen. Uh, 2 Timothy 4, 7, and 8. I have fought a good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Come on now. Amen. You have to keep that faith. You have to keep that faith. The faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You have to keep that faith. You have to say, I trust in you, God. I have faith in you, God. I don't care what the devil throws my way. I don't care what the devil's doing. I have faith in you, God. I have faith in you. Amen? Yeah. Now there is, there. Uh, I have faith in, I keep the faith. Amen? So it says, now, in verse 8, it says, Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all those who have longed for his appearing. Amen. Not only to him, but to every single one of us who have longed for his appearing. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're hoping, we're, we're looking at the sky, we're, we're looking at Jesus Christ coming. Amen? I'm done, D. Um, I'm done, devil. Get out of here, devil, in the name of Jesus. You're a liar in the name of Jesus. Amen? 
Because we aren't going to finish that race. How many want to finish that race? How many want to stand up? I'm going to finish to the end. And then none, no, though none go with me, yet I will still follow Jesus. Amen. Because we are in a fight. And we are in a race. And we are going to win it. Just like those F USC people that fought for the title and for the belt. They did it. And that their prize is the belt. Their prize is they're the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Right? But we are in it for Jesus Christ. We don't want to win a battle temporarily. We want to win eternal salvation. We are, 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 we're just, we're just, we're not home yet. This is not our home. Our home is in heaven with Jesus Christ. But we are going to uh, win the race. We are going to finish the race. We are going to endure till the end. And my, that was my prayer for you, that you will endure till the end. That is my prayer for this ministry, for our, us as pastors, to you guys, that you will endure till the end, that you will be sitting in the same seat in 2000, whatever. Even if we turn it around or we make it bigger or whatever, you'll still be here. Amen. You'll still be here until the end. Amen. Amen. Because how many know sometimes that we, we, we do it and then we go for a little while and then we quit. We can't be quitters in the kingdom of God. We're not quitters. We don't quit. Amen. Amen. We don't quit. But I encourage you tonight, you endure to the end. I encourage you tonight to fight that fight. You can win the battle. You can with Jesus Christ. You can't by yourself. You can't with, Man. with the devil. You can't if you're going to be selfish in the kingdom of God. There is no selfish people in the kingdom of God. It's all the way, baby, or not at all. Because Jesus, when you come to Jesus Christ, he wants every single ounce. He wants everything. He wants it all. He wants every part of your life. He wants closets. He wants drawers. He wants everything. Attics, basements, every part of your body. He wants every part of your heart. He wants it all or not at all. Amen. He wants it all. He wants every part. And when you give Jesus all your heart, everything, then, then watch and see what God does in your life. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Let's all stand up to me. Come on, Nays. I don't know what time it is, but it's time to worship God and to praise God, amen? It's time to, 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 to get excited. Are you excited? Mad. Amen? <laughs> Father, we just love you. We just thank you that you're an awesome God. Father, we thank you that you're a mighty God and you're a holy God. We just love you, God. We just want to endure to the end, God. We want to seek your face, Father God, until the day you come or until the day we die, until the day that, that our number is up, Lord God. We want to seek your face. We want to worship you. We want to love you, God. We want to honor you all the days of our lives, God. We want to be saved, God. We want to be uh, delivered and set free, Father God. We don't want the enemy to, to rule and reign in our hearts. We don't want the world to take over our lives, God. We don't want ourselves to be selfish people, Lord God. We don't want that, God. We want you, Father God. We want you in our lives, Lord God. Father God, we just ask that you would help us tonight, Lord God. I pray, God, that your people, Father God, would just not could never quit, God never give up, Lord God, but that would stand ground, stand firm, God. Stand, Father God, and stand there for it, Lord God, like your scripture says, Lord God. Father God, we just love you. We honor you, God, tonight. Let's sing that song, that one that says, 